Hey guys, it's Abby here back for another bi-weekly Friday Lives. I do lives on the Renee of Paris channel every other Friday. I am the Alopecia ambassador for the social media pages for Renee of Paris. So typically I come on here to talk about different issues relating to hair loss and wigs for hair loss and stuff. Um, but today I'm doing something a little bit different and I'm super, super excited about it. Today I'm going to be talking about a different part of the wig community and that's actually going to be the cosplay side of wigs. So I'm going to be having a guest joining us in a little bit named Arlena Faye, who is an amazing cosplayer and crafter. And we're going to go over just different ways we got into cosplay and all that stuff. So I'm just going to bring her in here in a minute. So I'm super excited to talk about this today because obviously I love wigs as someone with alopecia, but I also have a love for wigs for cosplay. Hey, Arlena, welcome. Hi. Hi, I'm so glad you could join us. How are you doing? Good. Awesome. How are you? So I'm doing good as well. I guess first we'll start about talking about how we both got into cosplay, but I also want to say that today we are going to be showing off some new releases towards the middle of the stream, showing some new releases from the Renee of Paris Muse collection. So we actually both made cosplay looks for these new wigs that we're going to show in this video. I think we're both in like partial cosplay right now. And what got you into doing cosplay? I wish I could remember like there being a specific moment, but there I don't think there was. I it was back in like the days when Tumblr was really popular. I saw a bunch of people cosplaying and before that I've been sewing since I was like little and I was like, okay, well I like these characters and this looks cool. And so just like little by little, I started doing more and more cosplay because it's just, it looks fun. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. So more. That's awesome. Do you remember what the first cosplay you ever did was? Yeah. Um... The first cosplay I ever did, I'm pretty sure it was like Juliet Starling or something like that. Yeah, I think that was that one. Nice, very awesome. I honestly can't even remember my first cosplay. It kind of blends in a little bit with like Halloween costumes. Because yeah. for me, I feel like I got into cosplay because I love dressing up for Halloween. And then suddenly something occurred to me one year. I was like, okay, I love dressing up for Halloween so much why don't I do it the rest of the year too? <laughs> so I got really into like making cosplays for cons and stuff like that. And then it was just all that we'll learn in process from there. What are some favorite cosplays you've done before? I know that my Brigida from Overwatch was one of them. And mm -hmm. oh, that, that, that one was awesome. I saw that one. If you guys know Overwatch, it's a video game. There's so many amazing characters that you can cosplay on there, but that look was so awesome. Picking up your, uh, your jingle, uh, Jingle Tracer from Overwatch was amazing as well. Oh, that so cool. yeah, that one was fun. <laughs> that one was a fun one to make, and then I did, like, little video skits and stuff for that, that one, so that was, that was fun. Yeah, I think really other than cool. that, it'd probably be, like, We Mean or Bakuzel or something. Oh, yeah, that's so super cool. Um, so, like, what are your favorite, uh, like, what, let's start with your, your process. What is your process typically for making cosplays? Like, how do you think of ideas, and then what's the process, like, from start to finish? Okay, so, like, how I think of ideas is usually I just see, like, a character, and either I really like that character, or, like, the design is just really cool. And then, as for, like, the process, it's, like, once I have a character picked, I kind of just, like, look at what's all a part of their costume and start looking for like materials that will work because like foam is like one of those materials a lot of like for armor and stuff and then fabric for like sewing projects and then once those are gathered I just kind of start like putting it together like I just if it's sewing then I'll find patterns that work or maybe I'll have to like draft some up and then <laughs> yeah, I guess just, just from there it's like it's either sewing things together or it's like gluing a bunch of foam together. <laughs> yeah, that's super cool. The stuff you do with like EVA foam crafting is so incredible. So for those that aren't super familiar with cosplay crafting, obviously you can sew pieces. If you want to, if you're like a do it more casually, you can you can even just buy pieces if you want. But there's a really cool thing called like EVA foam crafting where people take like sheets of foam and they you, you do magic with it. Like, I'm very new to that. I've maybe made, like, one piece with it before. But people make, like, full sets of armor with this foam. It's just, like, super incredible. Do you have any pieces uh, that you want to show? Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I, I, I have some pieces. So this is, like, uh, this is one for um, Bakugo, which was one of my favorites. Uh, even though I don't think he takes, like, the first spot as my favorite cosplay, this spot is by far my favorite thing I've ever made. And it's just, it's like a little grenade gauntlet that you just wear around your arms and it's made of foam. foam 
yeah, all of this is just EVA foam. So it's, like, super lightweight, and it can take some, like, like wax and stuff because it's just nice and squishy. That's, that's oh. so well, I remember, like, the first time I ever tried to craft something with foam, I thought it was going to come out nice and easy. I thought it would look cool, and then it just looked like a child's craft project. So the fact that you can do something like that with the same materials is so incredible. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's mostly a lot of um, practice, because a lot of my earlier foam stuff was, like, real rough looking, too. I didn't know uh, that, like, sanding helps with, like, a Dremel or rotary tool helps clean up the line. Uh, yeah, and this foam, oh, sorry, I'm, there's a question. And yeah, you can answer um, it. Is there a, is this stuff you can heat with a hairdryer? Uh, you can't really use a hair dryer, at least on thicker foam, because hair dryers don't get hot enough. If they did, it would probably really hurt. Uh, but yeah, you use a heat gun to heat it, and that warps it, which is why foam is such, like, a go-to material, because it's super flexible. And yeah, so flexible. Anything with it. That's super cool. So, um, maybe I'll have, I'll have you show some more of your other cosplay crafting pieces in a minute, but now, for now, do you want to start getting into showing the wigs and maybe talking about the cosplays you're wearing? Yeah, yeah. Also, both of our characters were inspired by Pokemon. So uh, we both did different versions of Eevee from Pokemon. So if you guys don't know who Eevee is, I don't know if you guys can see my laptop very well. I wanted to give a photo for reference. But this is Eevee. This is a character you guys are probably familiar with. But then Eevee can, uh, in like the games and the show and stuff, she can evolve into a lot of different types. That's where we got our inspiration. So. This might also give you a hint as to what color our wigs are, but so this is a uh, Glaceon here, which is what Arlene is doing, and this one is uh, Espeon, which is the one I'm doing. So yeah, so I guess for starters, let's pull out the wigs um, and show them, and then we'll finish putting on the rest of our play pieces as well. Yeah. So you can start if you want. Okay, so this, show my wig, the wig? Oh yeah, which, however you want to do it. Oh, uh, yeah, well, the wig is like one of the last things I have to put on the side of the head. Uh, okay, yeah, so, uh, yeah, tell me, so based on, like, the character, Glaceon, it's like a Pokemon, right? So oh, there's yeah. not really a clear way to, like, choose how you want to go about making the costume. So there's, like, pretty much endless ways you can do it. So what is what was your inspiration for making your costume? Oh, okay, so for my costume, do you want me to show it and stuff? Sure, like, yeah. Okay, okay, I'll show. Let me just adjust the camera slightly. Um, so this is the costume. It's basically like an oversized jacket and it was inspired by a design that I saw on Deviant Art by Tokbot Dan. I think that's how you say their name. I'm not 100% sure. But they drew up like a really cute like humanoid Pokemon. Uh, and so that's what this was inspired by. I just embellished it a little bit more with like some fur since the Pokemon type is ice. So I thought something for like the snow would be a good idea. Yeah, that looks amazing. So you made that totally like from scratch? Uh, everything but this top. This top is one I already own. And I was like, wow, that'd be perfect for it. But yeah, everything else was handmade. Oh, that's so awesome. So I guess that gives a little bit of a hint as to what color your wig is going to be. So if you want to put that on and then talk about like, the whole look. All right. Yeah. Um, I've got to put on a wig net. Or yeah, sure. So, yeah, just to give more background to anyone joining, again, um, these wigs are new from the Muse Renee of Paris collection, which is coming out on Tuesday, September 1st. So there are two new styles. We're each going to show one of them and three amazing new colors. And there's also going to be um, new colors coming out for the other styles as well, if you guys are familiar with the other Renee of Paris Muse collection styles. So for anyone watching, do any of you guys do cosplay or are you ever interested in doing cosplay? You can give some hearts if you like cosplay content or comment anything you've done before. I think for me, it's funny because wigs are actually like a way I got into cosplay. Wow, that color looks so amazing. Yeah, so the wig that Arlena is putting on right now is actually, uh, that's Velvet Waves, one of the new styles in the color Polar Sky. That looks so beautiful. Wow, I really like it. It's really pretty. Oh, it's so gorgeous. So again, that's, uh, that is Velvet Waves in Polar Sky. That's one of the new styles from the Muse collection. So I guess I'll go ahead and start taking out mine as well. I have the, the box that it came in. So again, our like cosplay ideas are kind of like a hint as to what colors we got. So this is the other, one of the other new colors. This is so beautiful. 
This is this beautiful purple color. Uh, this color is called Lilac Cloud, and this is in the style Divine Wave. So it's a little bit longer. So I'll go ahead and put that on. By the way, if anyone was curious about this one, that was Cody and Creamy Blonde Memoir. And then look how fast I can like drastically change my look here. Wow, that was so pretty too. Yeah, I'm in love with this style and this color. Yeah, I <laughs> love the styling of these wigs and the color. And then they the just wigs are so really nice. nice. For One sure. of my favorite things about this wig actually was um, in the back, the like adjustable band that wigs usually come with, it's like an elastic oh, yeah. band. So that's oh, actually that's really cool. Because <laughs> usually they have like the clips, but the clips never actually stay clipped for me half the time. Like, they just the kind of fall, fall out. out. You'll yeah. be like in the middle of a con and suddenly your wig is like falling off because like it's yeah. <laughs> like, a lower quality wig. But, but when you're taking it off, it's like cut, caught in like, it's, like your wig net and stuff too. Yeah, so you can see you can just adjust it by pulling out this Velcro and tightening it to the right size. And I guess while I have it off, I'll show the cap instruction as well. So it has a lace front and a lace part. So do you want to show on yours how that uh, lace part looks? It makes the scalp look super realistic. Yeah. Oh, that is such a nice Love it. I like that it has a little, like, lace here because then it does, you know, it looks more natural and stuff. Yeah, it's like your own scalp can peek through. And so that's kind of a difference from these between like some like lower quality cosplay wigs too, is that sometimes like you can tell it's like they just based on the hairline, but these, yeah. the hairline is so realistic. You can pretty much like, this could probably pass for real hair. Oh, definitely. Like this, this part is super realistic looking. Usually um, some of my uh, like eBay wigs and computer wigs uh, are just, uh, like they don't really have a part. Like it's super dense all the way up to the part and it's, definitely doesn't have like this lace front or anything either yeah so it looks very realistic like I would wear this I'm gonna wear this for the cosplay of course which I'll show mine in a minute but I would totally wear this on like a regular day as well oh, <laughs> definitely I really love the color of this <laughs> I feel like the camera on my end isn't doing this color justice because it's like a little bit more of a vibrant purple in person but it's so gorgeous I'll definitely post pictures of it on my uh, Instagram after for anyone who wants to see them but yeah so um, yeah, so do you want to show, like, your full look now that you have the wig on? Oh, yeah, gotta add the little air. Or, like, other pieces you want to start putting on. We could do however you want to do it. I have some other pieces I gotta put on as well. Your ears look so cute. <laughs> this is pretty much the full costume. Let's see if I can back up enough to show it. Oh my gosh, here. I love that. Okay, we put my ears on, too. So, Arlena is a lot more of a seasoned cosplayer. I'm a little bit more new to it, so my pieces are gonna look a little bit more homemade, whereas hers could pass for, like, store-bought. This is my first time <laughs> making ears. But that's, I like well, <laughs> that's one of the oh, great things about cosplay though is that um like I really like the learning process of it like that you can like you can see your skills improve over time but For that sure. still looks really cute oh my gosh I love your dress and everything too yeah I didn't give myself enough space to back up. I thought I had more space, but I actually made this dress. So um, I had to make this cosplay for this costume, of course. And I was going to order fabric online in this color. But then I looked over at my bed sheets and I was like, wow, those are the exact color I need. So I had like a weird moment of, <laughs> I'm going to turn my bed sheets into a cosplay dress. So these are actually made out of bed sheets. Let me angle it down so you guys can see the dress a little bit too. This is also my first time making That's a dress, so, so I feel like it came out that pretty well. so great, especially for your first time making a dress. Oh my gosh, it turned out so good. You could never tell those were bed sheets either. I know, yeah. It's, it was such a process making it because I feel like when I first started, I was like, how am I going to do this? Like, I cut out the piece and it like was not the right size or anything. I kept hitting so many obstacles. But that's like a really fun thing about me as like a new cosplayer and my experience with it is that like every time I approach a new cosplay, I like, I like have no idea how to do it. And then I like slowly start to figure out what steps I want to take to make it. Um, and it's kind of like a learning process the entire way. So it's a lot of fun, really. Yeah. Yeah, I really like the, the crafting process. And uh, one of the reasons why I think I ended up liking cosplay so much is because I, it helped me better my sewing skills. And yeah. I learn new things too, but like sewing, I, I, I like to sew just like normal clothes too. So it helped me just kind of practice that and get better at sewing like everyday outfits as well. <laughs> yeah, me too. I haven't tried to make any everyday clothes yet, but cosplay is like what I really got, got me into sewing. 
I always wanted to learn how to like sew properly with like a sewing machine and stuff, but I just never really like found the time to do it. But then cosplay really got me into wanting to learn more so I can make all these cool costumes. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely one of my favorite parts about yeah. it. Yeah. Also, you have an excuse to get a bunch of really cool wigs. <laughs> For like, sure. You know, like, like, in that one, too. Uh, great show, ladies. My son is trying to catch you with the Pokemon app. Oh, my gosh. The Pokemon oh my Go gosh, app. Oh, my gosh, you. So much. I forgot <laughs> to show this. I was going to introduce our Pokemon costumes with this Pokeball I had in my room. But I oh forgot to put it. Oh, my gosh. I remember those. <laughs> I know. I feel like these were, like, like an old, like, toy that you got at fast food places or something like a million years ago um but yes yeah. yeah, so i have a couple other accessories i was going to throw on with this cosplay so yeah i have this dress that i made again out of bed sheets i put some lace trim on here um and again i'm super new to cosplay crafting so anyone watching this who's thinking like oh i could never do that like i'm so brand new to this and i was able to figure out a way so if i can do it you definitely can so if there's anything like stopping you from getting into cosplay honestly just my biggest advice is to like just jump in and do it and just like see what you're capable of because some of the stuff I've made like I never thought I'd be able to make stuff like that do you have any advice for like new cosplayers too uh it, it's definitely that like if you're afraid to start cosplaying but like you really want to my advice is literally like just do it um there's a lot of resources online like tutorials and stuff like tons of people put them out so so chances are somebody's probably done something to help uh, you learn how to make your own stuff. And like, even if you don't want to make your stuff, there's tons of places to buy costumes. And thrift stores are also a great place to like find pieces to piece together as well as uh, materials. Cause like you said, with the bed sheet, I use that quite a bit too in some of my other costumes. <laughs> Whenever I need like some cheap fabric, bed sheets are really great for that. So like you can keep the price down and everything too when it comes to, uh, you know, making things. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely thrifting is a great place to find um, items. Um, a lot of times when I have to make a cosplay for like a deadline, and I'm scared that I'm not going to be able to make it properly in time, what I'll do is like I'll buy the materials to make it. And then I'll like sometimes on occasion, like I'll buy pre made pieces as like a backup in case I mess up. So I know that I at least have something like if I have a con coming up or something. So I've definitely had times like the very, very first time I tried EVA film crafting, I tried making like Diva's headset from Overwatch. And I wish I brought that out to show because the, the final result is so funny. It looks like a child's craft project. So I ended up actually wearing like a store-bought headset for that just because I'm definitely going to try again someday. But yeah, the one I made was just so funny looking. But that's kind of like the fun of it. It's like, it's so fun to just like walk around like an arts and crafts store and be like, oh, what materials do I need? You get so much inspiration just walking around the store thinking of like yeah. what to buy. Yeah, and it's also really fun like getting yeah. like your um your progress, I guess, and your skills. So like something you made early on, if you ever revisit that cosplay, you can redo it and be like, wow, look how much like the, I improved at this since then. Definitely. Like, that's a really fun thing. To see. Another fun thing too is like, um, there's been characters that have wanted to cosplay in the past that like, this is actually something that got me into making my own cosplays originally, is like characters that I wanted to be for Halloween, but they didn't really exist online to buy. One day it occurred to me, like, why don't I just try to make this? Uh, and that got me more into cosplay crafting as well. Uh, what's one of your favorite characters to cosplay? That's a great question. Um, so I think you said some of yours before, but do you have any others you want to mention? Um, uh, hmm. I really like cosplaying a lot of um, Blizzard characters in general because they have, like, really cool armor and they've got, like, a really cool look to them. So, like, anything Blizzard-related is usually, like, a good chance I like it and League of Legends characters too. Yeah, that's awesome. Is there anyone unfamiliar uh, with Blizzard? Blizzard is a company. The favorite people. Yeah, yeah, so Blizzard is, is the oh, company that owns uh, like Overwatch and World of Warcraft. So there's like so much awesome content in their world. Especially yeah. for you're doing EVA film crafting for the armor. That is very cool. Um yeah, so I'm just gonna quickly go over some of the other new releases from this collection that's coming out on Tuesday. So again, both of these new wigs for anyone joining now are two of the new wigs from the collection being released on Tuesday from the new Muse Renee of Paris collection. Again, she's wearing a velvet, velvet waves and polar sky. And this one is divine waves and lilac cloud. There is a third new color coming out as well called midnight stone, which is like this beautiful dark gray, but it's like, it's like a high fashion gray. So it has like the roots. So it looks like it's just dyed gray. So I think that color is super beautiful as well. I feel like uh, gray hair is very trendy right now. 
Yeah, another great thing for both like everyday wear and cosplay uses is that all these wigs are also heat friendly. Is there, are there any other ways you would like style this wig for other cosplays and like make use of it? Oh, I could I could definitely see that. Like this color is like, I feel like it's fairly common for like um, quite a few different characters. So I could definitely see myself being able to like restyle this or something and uh, wear it for some other costumes. I really love the style that it is now, but I love that you can resell it if you want to and like use like a straightener or hair curler or something on it. Yeah, really for sure. Cool. Yeah, I know. Like it's nice that it's high heat, but I almost don't want to like mess with these curls right now because they're so pretty. Yeah, because they're so probably pretty. Probably after I like owned it for a long time, I'd probably try to experiment with doing other stuff. But I guess uh, I'll also mention some of the other wigs uh, that are part of the Muse Renee of Paris collection. So this is another wig that I have, which is another great color. This is Dusty Rose, and this wig is Breezy Waves. So just to show you guys, if you are interested in the other wigs in this collection, I'll throw this on super quick. Uh, so this was one of the wigs that already was out, but this one's being released in two new colors um, in like a brunette and a blonde, I think creamy toffee and marbled brown, if you're familiar with the color names. This wig is also so fun. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that wig is so cute. I love it. I love the style of that one. I know. You know what it kind of reminds me of is um, like uh, um, Black Widow, kind of. Ooh, oh my gosh, that would be a great cosplay to do with this wig for sure. But like, I've totally been wearing this like so much regularly. It's really fun because it's like, it's like almost pink, but it's almost more like a peachy pink. So it's a very unique color that you don't see a lot in wigs. Yeah, it's really pretty. That's such a pretty color. <laughs> yeah, I love this one. And also, this one's also high heat friendly. But again, these like waves are so fun. I would not want to mess with them. Until maybe I owned it for a little while, then I would probably do some stuff. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely love how it's styled right now. <laughs> I know. I right? love that these are styled like right off the bat. Because not all wigs are necessarily styled how they look in like the photos and stuff. But these are like, they hold their style well, too. Like, yeah, perfect. perfectly. Yeah, so like, they're heat friendly, so you can change them, but then they also, that's like the beauty of synthetic wigs too, is that like they hold their style really nicely. So uh, I guess I have, I also have some cosplay crafting things that I can show. Uh, you look adorable in this, uh, you're adorable in this look, Abby. Thank you so much, Danny. Um, so she's another one of our uh, Renee of Paris social media people. So I guess I'll show some of my other cosplay crafting things that I've made. So again, I am more new to it. So these are like things I've attempted to make. Uh, over the years, but this is like a, this is actually a 3D printed prop for a character from Overwatch 2. So my brother has a bunch of 3D printers, so he 3D printed me the base from a template I found online, and then I just spent hours and hours painting it. That looks so good. I love it. Thank you, you can't so much. Like, oh, it's like 3D printed either. Also, that must make it like really durable too. It means yeah, so it's like nice hard plastic. I feel like this could almost like, at least the base of it, uh, could almost pass for something like store bought because it is like nice plastic. My brother has like all these 3D printers. So whenever I want to make like a cosplay, Jason always like, I'll like send him a, a link to a cosplay, I mean, a, a 3D print template and be like, can you please print this for me? And then I just have to like sand it and spray paint it and paint it. So it's a lot of business now. So that's a lot of fun. Do you have any other pieces you want to show? Oh, uh, yeah, I have um, some different things. Uh, let's show a sewn piece because it's something a little bit different <laughs> from like the sure. home and stuff. But this is a piece that I sewed together. It's a few different pieces to be fair. It's um, This is for Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn. So it's like her two different shirts. And then um, one of her skirt pieces, because she's got like a bunch of panels that make up the skirt. And one of my favorite things about this cosplay was I got to just hand embroider a ton on it, which is kind of therapeutic. Oh, wow. Like it's really just um, something you can do when you're like watching a TV show and it gives your hands something to do. So I really love that about this costume. I don't know if they're really showing up, but like all this is hand embroidered here. Yeah, that yeah. was so amazing. Wow. That's um one of the uh, another thing I like about cosplay is like adding in the small details because there's just something like again oddly therapeutic about it and it's just really like uh relaxing just to like can sew things occasionally. Yeah, I feel like that's the fun part of sewing. For me, like I, I'm still so new to sewing that I get so frustrated sometimes making like the base of a piece, but I still love when it comes out well. But like this dress, for example, I made the base again out of like bed sheets. But then the fun part was like adding this like lace trim, 
Um, I also had some other pieces that I haven't added yet that I might add to, but I might add like this bow on the front or something like that. Um, yeah. So yeah, so like, and now after adding lace trim to this dress, now I want to like go and add lace trim to all of my clothes, just like in my whole closet. <laughs> I've like, definitely I been there. That. I um, love adding the small details. So I've definitely been there where I've added like a couple small details to one costume and I'm like, okay, what else can I add? This to? For sure. Yeah, so also, are you wearing a special makeup today for your cosplay? For your, uh, uh, what was it, glazing? Oh yeah, yeah, I did, I just kind of, um, I did eyeshadow that uh, matches the character's color. I don't know how well it's showing up on my camera, but like it's um. Oh yeah, it looks like, really good. Like, blue. Nude, like not dark blue, but like it's a darker blue than the rest. And then there's like a lighter tealish blue here, and then like a white color. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, I have like I did the exact same thing pretty much. I just did the purple version of that. So <laughs> yeah. purple and blue. <laughs> it makes sense. Oh, and I also forgot. I was gonna put on a. Espion has these like gems on her forehead. I was gonna put a little red gem on my forehead too. Um, but yeah. I always forget about that little red gem on her. I know, me too. It's such a like I feel like it's a nice finishing touch though to make it go from being like a regular like this right now what I'm wearing, I feel like I could, I would just wear this on a regular day because I love this wig. But then adding like little gemstones on your face and stuff bring it into being more of like a costume look, which is really fun. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely would so you. For sure. Also, are there any other things you want to say about like cosplay and um, like your favorite parts about wearing wigs for cosplay? Because like, for example, uh, me and probably a lot of people who watch this stream or might have like hair loss, for example. So what's your experience wearing wigs as someone who wears it for like costume and uh, someone that actually has hair too? I know some of the um, other wigs I've tried, some of like the, the cheaper wigs and stuff, they don't always like fit your hair and which is a problem this one does though so it's really great um awesome. but I, I don't know i think my favorite part about just like the wigs for cosplays one it's like really convenient because now you've got the hair color to match the character and you don't have to dye your hair <laughs> or anything or have like a different colored hair um i don't know i feel like they're like even though it can be like a long process it's still like really easy just to Put it on and then it completes the entire cosplay really like it pulls everything together yeah like it brings it all together yeah i feel like like this dress i'm wearing right now i feel like it could almost pass for like a normal everyday dress but then when i put on the cosplay and i'm like head to toe purple it like looks more uh, i mean put on the wig it looks more like a fun cosplay and it's just like such a cool look so yeah so um for anyone watching this like definitely comment if you guys like doing cosplay if you want to see more cosplay content on the stream. Um, definitely be sure to go check out Arlena Faye's Instagram. Her cosplay crafting is amazing. Uh, because I'm more new to it, she's like a huge inspiration for me. Your stuff is always great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, it always comes out looking so good. I could only hope to be at that level in like a couple years or something. Um, but yeah, so definitely go check out her page. And if you guys like cosplay content, it's like a whole new world of wigs because I was introduced to wigs obviously because I have alopecia. But the fact that I had all these wigs already from having alopecia, it like got me into doing cosplay because I could change my hair so easily. And it was just a fun way to experiment with wigs too. So yeah, um, so I guess yeah. well, that brings uh, us to the end of this stream. So definitely comment if you guys like, um, if you guys like cosplay, uh, if you want more cosplay content from us, definitely give some hearts. And yeah, do you have any uh, closing words you want to say? No, just that these wigs are really nice. And like you said, um... You said that uh, wigs got you into cosplay. For me, cosplay got me into wigs because now I like to just wear them daily because I had all these wigs and now I can just pair them with different looks and color schemes of outfits and kind of pull my real life outfits together with a wig too. That's awesome. I love that. I love how I can like go both ways, like um, wearing, having, like wearing wigs got me into cosplay and doing cosplay got you into wigs. So I think <laughs> it's just like, it's anyone can have fun, whether you like have hair loss or not. Like there's so many different, like parts of like the wig communities out there between like uh, alopecia, cosplay and all that. It's just a lot of fun. And for anyone that doesn't do cosplay like year round, uh, Halloween is coming up too. So there's definitely a lot of options for there if you guys want to do some DIY cosplays. It can yeah, be fun definitely. to just get a wig and a fun color and like base the cosplay around that color. Oh, definitely. That's really fun. I think that also helps get me in the cosplay with Halloween. So yeah, that's always sure. a fun place to start if anything. For sure. 
Yeah, definitely. Okay, yeah, so um, again, these wigs that we're both wearing, this one more time, I'll say the names of them in case anyone is interested in these. Uh, I'm wearing Divine Waves and Lilac Cloud. She's wearing Velvet Waves and Polar Sky. These are brand new releases from the new Renee of Paris Muse collection coming out on Tuesday, which is September 1st. So definitely keep an eye out for that. If you want to learn more about these wigs, check them out on reneeofparis.com. The catalog will be posted there on the release date. And also check out all the other beautiful colors like this one I showed before, Breezy Waves in Dusty Rose. And yeah, again, don't forget to comment if you guys uh, like cosplay content, if you want to see more cosplay content on the Renee of Paris channel, definitely go check out Arlena. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and happy Friday. Thank you so much, Arlena, for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. It was really fun doing this. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. So I'll talk to you. Um, yeah, this is so much fun. We gotta like, we gotta like to take pictures of our cosplays and like put them together. So it's almost like oh cosplaying God. in person. Absolutely. Yes, we have to do that. <laughs> We like green screen ourselves into the same background. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely Photoshop it together. <laughs> yeah, so awesome. So thank you so much again, and I hope you enjoy your weekend. And I can't wait to see like more pictures of your cosplay. Yeah, same same to you. I can't wait to see your costume too, like your photos of it and everything. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everyone. Bye. Everyone have a wonderful weekend. Yeah. Bye.